guys, welcome, welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing y'all how we take care of our curly hair. It's going to be a curly hair routine video. And we're going to show you guys basically how we did our hair today and uh, what products we use to maintain it's our It's like curls. a wash and go look for mine. And Stacey did like a side part situation with the edges. And yeah, these are very easy and simple hairstyles we like to do if we have to go out after washing our hair. And in the summer, they're very easy to do. And we'll also be showing you the products we, we use to do these and how to do them. Yep. So stay tuned and watch the entire video to see what we do and how we do it, what products to use. And yeah, comment, comment down, down below, below. any <laughs> other video ideas we you have or video suggestions you have for us. We will happily do them. Yeah. And yeah, we are posting twice a week. We're posting on Monday. I am and trying Fridays. to convince her for us to post three times a week because I feel like we should post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday. But we already can't like come up with a lot of ideas to already post twice a week. So imagine if it was three times. And it's also a lot of work editing the videos too. But we are trying to split that evenly because at the beginning I was doing everything for the most <laughs> part. So Stacey has edited the past two videos. Any other video you've seen on this channel, including this one, is going to be edited by me. Um, but yeah, any suggestions you have for anything we should film, please leave that down below or DM us on Instagram. Our handles are always on the screen or at the end of our video, as well as in the, in the description um and that's it so let's Keep get watching. right into it and we're and we'll show you how to get this look so basically this is what our hair looks like before it's not too a bad mess. on my end and i am a because i did do my hair but, but Stacy looks like a bum <laughs> i'm just gonna keep it up but you really do look like a bum but anyways um yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and we did wash our hair the previous night. So right now, we're, all we're gonna do is just wet our hair and just show y'all exactly what we do after we wash our hair and show y'all how we, you know, maintain our curls and stuff like that. So yeah, stay tuned and we'll get right into the video. So I'm about to take my hair out of my ponytail. Yo, I really look up in here. Me and she, though. We're about to go with it and go we'll see you guys in a second. And this is what the hair looks like after she's getting it wet. Mm -hmm. Literally, she's water. So what we're going to do now is show you exactly how we would be and what we would do right after washing our hair. And we're going to show you the products we use as well as how we use them. Um, and y'all first, the products we do use in the shower in case y'all are interested in knowing. So they'll be up on the screen right now and that is the shampoo. That is what we use to just wash our hair. Um, I know that this same brand has a line that is for curly hair, which I do want to try out, but right now we've always used this for about a year or so, and it's really affordable and it works for us. The matching shampoo, and you know, they smell pretty much the same, they don't have really any specific scent, it just smells like, you know, shampoo and conditioner, and yeah. Once we do use the conditioner in the shower to detangle our hair, we don't really rinse it all the way out just because I feel like that leaves and gives it a more of like a moisture yeah. texture and feel to it. So yeah, that helps a lot. And yeah, if y'all were interested in knowing that is what we use and y'all can use it too. It's very affordable and it's very good. So tell, tell them to sponsor us, like what's up? Tag them in the comments or something. Send us your way. Send us their way. That being said, let's get right into the actual styling part of the video. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. 
So to start off, what I like to do is I like to part my hair across the middle. What I like to do is I get the conditioner and I get a little bit of more. So yeah, I like to distribute it equally. And I like to part mine just to make sure that I'm using the product, you know, throughout the entire head and then I'm really coating every last piece that I possibly can with the product. As y'all can see, my hair is a little bit damaged. Like, the curl pattern is a little bit messed up. From but she worked in on me straining it, but I am currently working on it. And if y'all have any products that y'all think can help me with that or any suggestions as to what I should do, because like my roots are curly and then this part is a little bit straight and then my ends are very curly so it's like if y'all have anything that helps bring my curl pattern back i really would appreciate it y'all would leave that in the comments um but that being said i'm still gonna show y'all what i do to help with that and yeah so the first thing i like to do is take my cream of nature pure honey moisture whip twisting cream it has no sulfates, mineral oil, or silicones, which I've learned throughout doing some light investigating and, you know, trying to learn about this curly stuff, trying to fix my curls. I've learned that silicones is something that is in a lot of products and it does a lot of damage to your curls and your hair in general. Like, it just leaves a coat on it exactly and you feel your hair is not exactly in here. I don't know if I'm really explaining this as well as I should be, but I'm pretty sure all the curly people already know about this. So, that's the second thing I do to my hair after I use the conditioner. And I do basically the same thing. I should get my fingers through my hair. Make sure to get my bag in the middle. And guys, this product smells so good. Like, so good. It's supposed to be like, I think, coconut and a couple other things. I'm not sure. Which is, it smells like honey, rich coconut oil, it says it has, and creamy shea butter. However, you say that. But yeah, that's all that it has. It's pretty natural product, you know? And yeah, I feel that. It really gets the job done. It makes my hair look very moisturized and it really helps me with my straight pieces of hair. It helps them look a little bit more curly, you know. I try to scrunch my hair as much as I can to get it to curl up or wave up at least. Then, after I use that, I use some of coconut on oil. And I actually don't use a lot of it because it's very greasy. It's very natural. It has nothing else mixed in it. It's just all natural pure coconut oil. So it's very And I'm not sure if it looks liquidy or a little bit solid, but it really depends on the temperature you keep it in. If you keep it in more of a cool area, it'll stay a little bit more solid. And if it's you know, hot, it's been like, yes, so yeah, the sun, you can see that it is very much like transparent and very much so a liquid. But yeah, if it's kind of solid, you can still squeeze it out of the bottle and just warm it up on your hands and run it through your. That's all I use. <laughs> and then I go ahead and part it on the side. Also, I have a question. I want you to comment the answer to this. Do y'all like to use your fingers to detangle your hair, a comb, a wet brush, or what do y'all prefer to use? Because I actually like a comb, but I just feel like that with a comb you can also be a pro pattern. You know, I feel like you could break your hair. Yeah, you I like to use my 
my hands and fingers most of the time. But if I do feel like I, it wasn't enough, like my hair is very tangled that day, I will go in after using my fingers and get a little comb or something. And then, I do this. Then I will So now, we're going to style it and show you how we wear our hair curly. I'm basically going to just show you what I do, like a wet and go, like wet look. It's very like kind of slick back and cute. So tight. Personally, when I'm doing this, I like to take my comb and kind of brush my hair back. To so be to do my edges, I use the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair, extra hope edges. And that's basically all I use for my edges. And Sometimes gonna, I use gel, but when my hair is like wet like this, I rather use the edge control because I feel like it makes it stay more and it holds. But yeah, for that's what basically what I do for my wet look. Um, I will also go back in if I feel like I need to because I don't like this hair popping out like that. Go in with a brush and brush it back some. Now my hair, I would like to say, is a little bit wild. So if I really want my hair to stay back like this, I will add a little bit of gel. And I will put the gel that we use up on the screen. And it's really... It doesn't have alcohol or anything like that, you know? It's a fruit-based gel. Yeah. So it doesn't damage your hair at all. Yeah, you, when you really are looking for a gel that isn't going to damage your hair or dry it out or anything like that, just make sure that the most important thing is it doesn't have alcohol in it. And this is more on like the more, how, how would I say, like more watery? Yeah. Rather than the extra whole gel. It's more liquid. It's not like but, yeah. It's not too watery either. It's like the perfect in between, and you know, it doesn't let my hair get crunchy and it doesn't leave white flakes in it after, after drying. Yeah. Like, I could brush my hair out after this dries if I want to do a different hairstyle, and it won't flake and it won't be hard. And you know, that's important. When you have curly hair, because you're constantly using gel to style your hair. So then after I slick this down like that, I let the rest of my hair out. And I actually grabbed it. And so got I'm a little piece of flat. I'm going to spray my hair a bit. Nobody knows it was done like this. And I let it go. And that's basically it. Sometimes I would um do one right here. Like that here, you know? And that's basically all I've been. All I do is I put some gel on my hair and take my brush and brush it back like so. Not too much though. You can see it looks a little bit wavy and the curls will pop out. But if you really want it to stay, I suggest putting on a headscarf or a headband. That's usually what I do if I really want it to stay slicked back for a while. I'll just put it on for a while and before I leave, 
for whatever I'm about to do, I will just move my headband and go about my day. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all saw me do this in the Hydro Transformation video. If you haven't watched that, make sure to go check it out. But this is my go-to hairstyle when I have curly hair and in the summer when it's hot. Um, and I don't diffuse my hair or anything like that to let it air dry and that's just kind of what I do. Sometimes I'll use some edge control and an edge brush and do some edges but I just like it like this better lately and that is all I do. If you feel like my hair is a little bit dry or it's missing something, I'll go back in and put something on it. I have this gel that I don't have right now that I also like to put in my hair so that the curls will hold and stay um so they will stay for longer throughout the day and like hold your definition. So I'll put that up a picture of it on the screen as well. I highly recommend that to y'all. And if I don't have that, sometimes I will use a mousse as well, which helps hold, you know, my curls or anything. Y'all can remove mousse. And that is all I do to my hair. Um, make sure to let us know if y'all would like to see a hairstyles video, which we'll be happy to do. And this is what I do to my curly hair, really wet go look. So guys, this is it for the video. This is the final result of both of our hair. And that is what it looks like. We hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that this was helpful to anyone. Or if y'all just wanted to see this for entertainment purposes, that's fine too. But yeah, if y'all have any curly hair product suggestions for us, leave that in the comments. And yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed. This is it for the video. Um, comment down below if you diffuse your hair or let it air dry. Also, what method you use to detangle and comb out your hair. Um, That's basically it for the video, guys. Make sure to check out our previous videos. And like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn the bell notification icon. To get, not a, to get notified every time we post a new video. Um, any other videos y'all would like to see from us, make sure to DM us on Instagram. Our handles will be right here. And or comment down below. Yeah. So that is it. That's it. And we'll see you in the next one.